You have this new show on Amazon called Good Omens. Yeah. With uh, Michael Sheen. That's right. And yeah. then uh, John Hamm's on there, and yeah. Francis McDormand narrates. And yeah. It's basically the two of you. Uh, Michael Sheen plays an angel, you play a demon, mm -hmm. and you've been entrusted with uh, bringing upon the apocalypse by yes. dropping off a baby. Yes. You. You give it to the wrong Slightly couple. Slightly messed it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and the the world is held in the balance. But but what it really is is it's sort of this two hander between you and Michael Sheen. And it made me curious. Is there something specific you do about reading a script for the first time? No, really. I I think reading the script for the first time is the closest you'll get to watching the show. I I always think so. When you nice. when you read it for the first time, if it grips you and if you just enjoy it then that's a, as close a, a, a signifier as you're going to have to right. what the finished product is going to be like. One of the uh, attractions for Good Omens was I, or Michael Sheen was already attached. Okay. So I knew that all this stuff would be playing opposite him, and that was, that was hugely enticing because I've known Michael for years. We've never really worked together. So to know that you've got someone that you really rate and that will be great fun to play opposite, that's a huge inducement right there. Well, what struck me about watching is that it's really a love story between the two well, of you. Well, it is. It absolutely is, yeah. But did the love story jump out kind of right yeah, away? Yeah, I think it does. Well, it's, it's a buddy movie, isn't it? And they're yeah. all love stories, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and, and it's an unlikely duo, and, there are, they, you, and yet they seem the yin and yang of each other all the way through. They are, they are polar opposites. They are heaven and hell. And yet it's the common ground that they've found that has taken them through eternity. And that. Speaking of Michael Sheen as being sort of one of your contemporaries, does that bring about in a sporting sense, like, oh, I want to be good in this? Like, I, I'm sure you've yeah. looked up to his work for a long time. Yeah, I've quite. It certainly makes you, uh, it makes you prepare. It makes you get ready. It makes you think, oh, this is, I've got to, I've got to bring my A game here. I mean, I don't think you ever don't do that. I don't think you ever think, oh, just some actor I've never heard of. I'll just turn up and do it. I think, right. but, but it, but it, it, it certainly. Good to hear for those a other actors who are watching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that is, sort of, it, I think that's pretty sort of pretty much page one. You kind of always turn up and do your best, don't you? But, but if you've got someone, Michael, you know, you're going to get sort of inspired in the scene. It's going right. to be fun. And you don't want to sort of let him down, I suppose. You want to think, well, he's, you know, he's, he, he's great and he's creative and he's sparky and he's, uh, you, you want to sort of be matching that. And I think, I think we sort of found in each other quite similar actors. I think we both sort of approach things in quite, in a similar way. We kind of turn up with a sense of what a scene is and, and ideas that we might want to bring to the way our character might be going through it. And, and uh, but also a kind of openness to whatever turns up. So I think we both responded to the way each other works because I think we recognised it and sort of thought, oh, this is fun. I'm sort of... Because uh, it's, quite, it's quite unusual to be... We are kind of contemporaries. We're, we, we would often be up for the same sort of part. Oh, would you? I guess so, yeah. Um, uh, so it's unlikely that there'd be often room in a show for two actors like right. ourselves. It would usually be one or the other of us, really. Because they are kind of two halves of the same character, ultimately. That's... That's uh, interesting that when Neil Gaiman first wrote this as a short story, there was only one uh, character. And then when Terry Pratchett came along, he, he uh, suggested splitting them into two, making oh, it an angel and a demon. So, yes, it's, it, it's quite an unusual to be sharing the space with someone who uh, you often wouldn't be in the, in the scene with. Usually, you know, there'd, right. there'd, be, there'd be one character played by a sort of 40 to 50 year old um, white British person. You know, so <laughs> exactly. uh, it, it was. It, it was great to get to play all, sort of be on set almost every day with, with Michael and to be sort of sparring with him. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.